these headlines in the Daily Mail of January the 7th began this story. They told of deserted British GI brides living in squalor at New York's Aberdeen Hotel. So serious were these charges that we instructed our New York reporters to investigate them. They began at the Aberdeen Hotel. The first speaker, a deserted wife, is Mrs. Kathleen Wood, formerly of Gordon Avenue, Winchester. I'm frightfully disappointed the way the Daily Mail misquoted me. The reporter just didn't get it straight. I do find life in a strange country difficult. The restaurants do not all like children, and some clerks are rude. But I guess they are no ruder to me than they are to Americans. The hotel is not bad, and the Red Cross is good to us. They give me $37 a week for food and pay my hotel bill. I'm 27 now, and I've known a number of men in my life. But now I'm disillusioned, and I'm off men for life. Mrs. Wood's name had been quoted in the British press. Our next call, therefore, was at the source of the bride's story. There, a pathy reporter interviewed the Daily Mail's American chief, Don Idden. Mr. Idden, your reporter, Mr. Waters, shocked the Anglo-American world by reporting hundreds of British war brides abandoned and living in squalor. Do you feel this story was truly accurate? Well, I think shocked is rather a sweeping generalization. Mr. Waters, on the basis of these three uh, so-called abandoned girls, you, without verification, uh, wrote a story that referred to hundreds of abandoned girls. I uh, carried through with the story uh, to a great extent. I and followed it uh, through quite completely. Mm. After all, let's see, there were 50,000 um, GI brides. Well, there must be uh, several hundred of those marriages broken up because uh, it's a simple uh, matter of statistics that, uh, let's see, what's the American divorce rate? Uh, is it one in three marriages? Meantime, from British war brides in every part of America, protests poured in. One who demanded a hearing was Mrs. Joyce Clark of Long Island, formerly of Ilford. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I and all the other British girls I know are terribly happy. At Tudor Towers, way up on the 18th floor, we met Mrs. Ellen Toomey, who came from Neasden, London. My husband and I feel that successful marriage is a matter of personality and not nationality. Other British girls joined the protest. To speak up for this group was Mrs. Margaret Byrne of London. We British war brides are gathered here today to protest against the awful charges printed in the London Daily Mail. We have all found happy homes over here in America and a warm welcome from everyone. And I think that that goes for 99% of us GI brides, at least for the good girls. And from Acton, London, Mrs. Barbara de Cristofero. I think we should all write a letter of protest to the mail. It would be too terrible if our people at home should think we were being ill-treated. When the brides arrived, everyone was happy. Now, ill-founded stories can cause more bad feeling than if Harry Truman publicly insulted Clement Attlee. America feels strongly about this. So do we.